Okay, let's go on YouTube. So today I have another product review. I have Armor All Premium Wash and Wax Plus Protect. So I have a 2016 Chevy Malibu right here that we're going to be doing a touchless wash on. So I'm not going to use any brushes or anything. The car was washed about a week ago. If you look at the wheels and tires, like that, I mean that's as good as you're going to get really. I mean it's practically clean. So I put two to three ounces into my foam cannon. I don't know who makes the lance. I kind of forgot. The stick, it had a sticker that was really cheap and it popped off. So. I also have a spotless water system over there with my Rayobli power washer. I'll show you guys the water system because I really like this. Yeah, spotless water system. They do a really good job, so I like it. It's 300 bucks, so it's kind of expensive, but when you only have to really dry the windows and stuff and door jams, it really helps out. Save a lot of time. So the car is really clean. License plate bracket is like what I want to get the most because that is really dirty. So let's get started. Had the power washer all set up. Go. I'm gonna hit it with the power washer first on this panel. I think this is power washer is 2,000 psi. So. Looks good. Everything's beating off. So. a while ago so I don't know how much of the wax is still there and if anything I guess it's really not but if you really do care you can say hey, I think that's changing the performance it was McGuire's gold class so but this is a uh, good this is a good mix of a wash and a wax so if it is then you know I may be a good combination to start doing <laughs> I'm gonna let that dwell for, you know, a couple. I'm gonna let it dwell for a little bit, not too long. But let's do talk about uh, the foam itself is really thin. I know some people are gonna say, hey, it doesn't matter how thick it is. Uh, kind of does. Like, is it clean microfiber? I'll tell you how it feels. Okay, yeah, it's it's pretty slick. Alright, that is really. Okay, that is really slick. So, it is slick. So, I guess you don't have to have a lot of foam, but as long as it's slick, you're good. So, I mean, let's just see how much dirt comes off. Here.
the light amount of dirt that I had on here. It's all gone. So that's really cool. Because I showed you guys earlier, uh, I did a review with Turtle Wax Power Wash. And that stuff, I understand the car was more dirty then, but that did not t touch anything. The power washer itself alone did the same job. So, this is really good. I like this. Now, here's the problem. You're not, this isn't a way, hey, I don't need to wax my car now. This is more, okay, you waxed it, you know this stuff isn't gonna take your wax off. Because you saw it had the same beating um, capabilities at the beginning and the end. So it didn't change anything. Yeah, it took the, some of the tire dressing off, but that, you know, that's gonna happen. I mean, they're water-based tire dressings, you know. They touch water, they're gonna come off. So, overall, I got this for $6, $6.99 or something at uh, AutoZone. So, I mean, it's a really good deal right now. And I mean, for what you see, I mean, I know like, you're like, oh, this isn't a full in-depth wash, you didn't have the bucket, this isn't how I'm gonna do it. No, but, this is a really, this is showing you before, after, nothing changed, the panels were the same, it got the dirt off, I'm using it as a touchless wash, I showed that one spot, it actually makes no difference, swipe my finger there, nothing there, swipe my finger here, nothing there, so it's not like the wash even did anything, like touching the towel did anything to take off more dirt, but I just wanted to show you to me, a good car wash isn't going to take my wax off. I don't want to spend time waxing the car, wash it once, and have my wax gone. That, I hate. I mean, who wants to do that? Who wants to wax their car every time they wash it? So, because you want that protection. And it makes it so much easier to dry when there's a good wax, sealant, coating, whatever it is. Whatever you have on there to protect your paint, you want that because it makes it easier to wash, maintain your car. And we all want to have clean cars. We always want you always want to make, maintain them, especially something like this. It's leased, it's black. You know, you don't want to get ripped off in the end, going to the dealership and be like, oh my god, you know, the paint's trashed. We're gonna have to do this, that, the other thing to it. That's gonna cost you a thousand dollars. When if you would have just spent the time to wash it yourself, you know, once a month, twice, once every two weeks. If you're me and you're a little OCD, you know, you should do it once a week. But I understand some people don't have the time, but at least once a month. And if you're doing it once a month, I would go around and I would do, if you don't have, if you just have a hose, you know, obviously you're going to go around with the hose and hit it down. But if you have the power washer, go around, you can use, de uh, you don't want to use like a degreaser or something, like, unless you're going to detail the car. If you have bugs, I guess on the front, you want to use a nice cleaner to take it off. But just understand when you start using those cleaners, that's the whole reason why if you wait so long to wash it. You're gonna have to start using stronger chemicals and the odds of your wax actually staying on there, you know, is gonna be, you know, not good. It's gonna be very low. But, also, you don't want your wash being so strong and, you know, overpower, like, overpowering the paint to the point where there's no wax at the end because then, guess what, you have no protection, and then you're done. Okay, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and